Hey everybody, Sarah Austin. I'm the host of the Sarah Talk podcast at saratalk.com. We were asked again to make a video showing how we set up some of the equipment here in our studio. And so today we're going to describe how we run the live stream video for our podcast each week. Now our podcast is primarily audio based, uh, like many podcasts, but we also offer a sort of camera in the corner uh, view into uh, us sitting in the studio making the show. It's not designed to be a video uh, program. It's not, you know, specifically made for YouTube. Uh, but the process that we use here to tie our audio into the video can easily be used for that function as well. So let's get right to it. Again, we're using a Behringer Zenix 1204 USB mixer. And for the purposes of our video audio, we take our audio from the board using the control room output on the back of the mixer. This is also tied to the level of the headphone control volume. Our headphone volume is routed through a four channel headphone mixer so that we can each independently change our own headphone volume and it won't affect the master volume, which goes both to the headphone mixer and out to the video. The audio signal coming from the mixer goes into the input of our Behringer UCA-222 input-output device. The UCA-222 takes our audio signal from RCA inputs and interfaces with our laptop with a USB connection. Our laptop then uses the signal from the audio coming in from the UCA-222 and the video from the cheap webcam built into the laptop to create our video. Then, in order to live stream, we use a program called XSplit. XSplit is available in a free version at xsplit.com broadcaster. There's also paid versions as well that let you do more with it. I tested this and OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, and I just personally liked XSplit better, but both do primarily the same thing. OBS is an open source format, so if you're into programmery things, you could access the source code and maybe do a little more with it. For us, the XSplit broadcaster software outputs to Facebook Live. All we do is enter our login credentials and select which page we want the live stream to show up on. You can also do YouTube Live, which we've used for various events outside the studio. You can record locally to your PC for upload later to YouTube if you don't want to live stream. And there's plenty of other options for new outputs. You can output to Twitch or Ustream, pretty much any live streaming source you can think of. As always, I hope this information helps you figure out your own studio setups. And don't hesitate to shoot me an email, producer at saratalk.com, or comment on the video here if you have further questions.